Hi everyone. Someone gave me some finger paints in a secret Santa gift exchange that I was participating in. I haven't used finger paints since like kindergarten, so I figured I would get them out and use them, and I had a lot of fun. Um, I wasn't particularly careful while doing this, I just went at it with my fingers, slathering the paint around however I liked. And I did learn some important things while doing this. Two things actually. Number one, you always use more finger paint than you expect to. Number two, don't be so carefree in your finger painting that you accidentally swipe a big finger full of red over a big swath of purple. Yellow and red combine to make orange. Uh, let's see, white and red combines to make pink. Or, or is it just light red? Is there a difference? Maybe pink's not a real color. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not a color scientist. My point is, purple and red combine to make an ugly, muddy brown. Uh, I'm sure it could be useful somewhere, but not in this painting. And I couldn't fix it. I even waited for it to dry and, and then tried putting more purple on top of it to make it purpler. It didn't work. But, um, except for that, like I said, I had a really good time doing this finger painting. It was kind of therapeutic. There's something to be said for the simplicity of this medium of art. You don't have to mess around with pens or pencils or paintbrushes and erasers. It's just you and your paint and your art. It's good. You probably won't make a masterpiece when you finger paint, but then again, maybe that's not the whole point of art. You can still express yourself. You can still make something kind of interesting to look at. And most importantly, you can still enjoy yourself. So try not to take yourself too seriously when you do something creative. It rarely helps, I think. Anyways, thanks for watching this little video. I've got another big one coming up, but you can watch this one while you wait. <laughs> okay, bye.